Today, I'm going to show you how to use the shortest medical HIV rapid test kit. Okay? The box. On opening the box, you'll find inside one package and your instructions, inserts, which you must read thoroughly, properly, before you commence doing the test or the kit. Alright? I'll push this to one side now. In this package here, we'll open it up, double check the expiry date. On this, it tells you it's an HIV test kit, whole blood serum, and this one expires in February 2014. Let's so we open the kit. We don't need scissors, but in this case, here we will. On opening this, inside this packet, you will also see the blood test kit, a buffer, an alcohol swab, and a, what's called, a lancet. On opening the inside package, again, it tells us it's an HIV whole blood serum kit with the expiry date. We can double check again. Inside this packet, you will find the actual HIV test cassette, a pipette and the silicon gel. Now, in this packet you'll also find some indicate silicon gel beads. These beads will come in the blue and clear color which means it's okay but if any of these beads turn pink it means that the test kit has been compromised by air contamination or moisture. Okay, okay. first thing we do is to open the alcoholic swab kit and have it on standby ready to use. and also have the buffer bottle ready to use. We can even go ahead and take a small snip of it at the top, ready to go. How the test is performed is like this. You choose the finger you're going to use it from and you just roll some blood down towards the tip of the finger until you see this light blood collecting in the capillaries in the finger. All right. Then you take the alcoholic swab, wipe the finger off, sterilize it. You take your lancet. This has a plunger in it. It has a spring. It's like a needle with a spring. You charge it by pushing the yellow lancet in until you hear a click, and then just pulling it out gently. From the side we pull the plunger out, you'll see the hole. The hole is where the needle will come out when you push it, when you click it. So, for example, we'll do this now. I'll use this finger, push it with my finger, and squeeze the trigger. There, I've given myself a little blood. Squeeze the pipette, squeeze it tight, and suck the blood up. Then, squeeze the blood back into the bottom of the well. You might get some more blood out sometimes. This is a good natural real-time thing that can happen. And squeeze into the well. Once you've done that, you then get the buffer, right? Then drop the buffer in here, which activates the test. One drop, two drops will do in this case. Because what the buffer will do is it will dilute the blood so it heads up towards the test. As you can see now, the blood is crawling up, or can we say transpiring up the test membrane. Looking closely is very similar to a pregnancy test kit. There's the C line, I'll use, use my plunger as a... The C line is a control line, which means that the test is valid and is working. Okay, so each time you must get a C line. 
that the seed line is now visible. That means we now have a valid test. The second line, right, that comes up on the T, which is the test line next to us here, will show either positive or negative, which means if there is a second line at the T, the test has detected HIV antibodies, which requires a second test in the laboratory. And remember, this is a screening test only. And there, ladies and gentlemen, you have it. A short test medical HIV rapid test kit.